Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Rutgers lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Green fields it at the two. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28. The Wolverines, and talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down around the 49-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's second and five here. Ball on the 47. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. From the 21-yard line, first down. And he's stopped behind the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Got him on the screenplay. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. They're stopped for a six yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice run there. They're about four yards away here on second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line.
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. It's second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. He steps out at about the 47-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And now he pitches it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires complete over the middle. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. Just about three yards there. That's a nice completion. But give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short game. Rutgers is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up. No good. He missed it to the left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Michigan is up by three. He rifles it to the right. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Wolverines! Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Nearly intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's on the run, and it's almost picked off. From their own 25-yard line, third down. Quick toss. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And the coach is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receivers. Henning is back to receive. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 40. The Wolverines are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for him. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. from their own 44-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. down for a 
a sack on the play. Boy, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz, and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. Robbins to punt. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Michigan's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 47-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. the 38 yard line wow that was close i think the officials marked the spot correctly and it gives them the first by an eyelash from the 38 yard line first down nice play fake quick strike and he drops it Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They'll call on the field goal unit. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up. And it's off the crossbar. No good. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. In the shotgun and five wideouts. at the 39. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10-0, Michigan. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Makes it to the 42-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 42. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Finds his man. First down. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Looking right, intercepted. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 
44-yard line. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. yard line defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime package he's pushed out of bounds right around the 30 from the 30 yard line second down Nice run up the middle. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Is it touchdown Scarlet Knights? Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three point game. And he adds the extra point. Rutgers lines up for the kickoff. Green from the one. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. At about the 37 yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. From their own 37 yard line, first down. <laughs> Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Michigan has a three point lead. Wilson takes it right side, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 47. From the 47-yard line, first down. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Brought down at the 44. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Quick pass. He's at the 30, and they push him out at the 28. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. And he's tackled at about the 17 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires incomplete, knocked away. 
know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. It's great technique. He's in position. He knocked that football away. And it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Michigan holds a field goal lead. And they make the stop at the four. From the four-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle made around the two-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Michigan! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Moody, ready to kick. He sends this one deep. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. The Wolverines lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Here's the give. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Henning is the deep man, awaiting the return. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Wolverines get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at midfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's got it with room to run. And they finally push him out at the 22. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. 
Can't get away from the pressure. Michigan's going to take their first time out of the half. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 60-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Zips it to the tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 31. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 38-yard line. The Scarlet Knights will use their first time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. The Wolverines had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. The Scarlet Knights call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Five wide. the 48-yard line. They tried to get a head start there. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. They come out in a five-wide set. Just throws this one away. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you. And you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. The 50. And he's finally taken down at the 45-yard line. The Wolverines obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart he'll continue to challenge himself his offensive line and the entire offense will continue to try to put more points up on the board they're about four yards away here on second down lets it fly and he's hit immediately
in the shotgun and five wide out. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He dives and he'll be marked down. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. What a target that tight end is close to the goal line. Well, the coach has to be happy with this guy's play so far. So I would expect to see a lot of passes thrown his way, especially in short yardage situations. He makes the PAT. Moody is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 31-14. Michigan. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither offense ran into anything that suggested any type of trouble for them in the first half, both running up and down the field pretty much at will. Did you get the sense, David, that the, that the defenses were a little tentative, that they, they were a little a little shell-shocked by what had happened, and if so, what do they need to do to change that in the second half? It's hard not to get that sense when the offense just goes shoot, 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 up and down the field, up and down the field, and has success. But, you know, it's interesting. If you're going to continue to give up points, and you know your offense is continuing to score, why not get aggressive on defense? I mean, don't sit back. Don't let them dink and dunk. Don't let them run the football. Bring some guys up in the box. Play some man coverage. If you're going to give up points and you know you're scoring at a high clip, Go for the gusto, baby. Try to make some big plays. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. And he's level at the 23. There was absolutely no space for him to run. The defense did a great job of reacting there. And down he goes at the 26. Henning will be the return man. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. to about the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Two. 
quick throw. That close to being intercepted. From the 47-yard line, second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 43-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it out and it gets tipped. This unit has quick hands and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's tackled at the 24. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. And now he pitches it. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Second and eight, ball on their own 36. Fires it out, tackle made at the 36. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. Ready, 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 ready. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. strike and he drops it third down now and they need to get it to the 26 gets it he's in space knocked out of bounds at the 24 yard line this is the eighth play of this drive The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And he stopped behind the line. That looked like a designed run, and they're going to lose about two on the play. It's second and 12. Ball on the 26. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Tenth play of the drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Fourth and long here after the sack.
He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 31-17, Michigan. Rutgers gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackled for a loss. This is just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all on this draw play. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Hands it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. Oh, excellent punt. Tries to get around the corner. From the 15, they'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run there. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Henning takes it to 25. He's tackled at the 37. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. He throws it. Great concentration to haul it in. The 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he hits the PAT. Moody has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackled after a decent 
pick up. They'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here we go. He's taken down at about the 49. out to about the 48 yard line second and seven ball on the 48 one more quarter to play this one appears to be well under control 38 17 Wolverines Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Fires quickly and he's got his man and he's immediately tackled. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Fires to the wide out. First down. And he's taken down at the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Five wide. Slings it. Here's an opening. And they finally knock him out at the 10-yard line. They sure have a long way to go in this game, but that was certainly a spark of life. This is the 10th play of the drive. Let's go. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll take it from the two. He gets hit out of bounds around the 38 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they got it. To me, that's on the quarterback. He's got to be able to recognize and use his eyes and vision to be able to see that the corner is coming on a blitz. The offense didn't do a good job of picking up the blitz, but the quarterback's got to be able to see that and make the throw quickly to get the ball before the corner can sack him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Has time. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at about the 41. Hey, 
Wants to go long and does. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Robbins to punt. From the 15. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And now he's got room to run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. scrimmage so it's second and ten ball on the 33 and he's tackled at the 34 Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Got some open field. To the 20. They'll bring him down at the nine-yard line. Michigan already with a two-score lead, and they can add to it here with first and goal. And he's tackled right away. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He makes the PAT. Moody, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. From the 33-yard line, 
First down. McNamara on play action. Let's it fly. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Tackle made around the six yard line. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Gets to about the five yard line. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Laterals back. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They get about four on that keeper. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's in the 40. Tackle at the 22. It's great to put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Big, Likely big he's game. He's going to have to step up now for Mark Andrews. Fired over the middle and caught at the 10-yard line. And that time it is likely to go to it again. But he's about three yards shy of the first. Right. Clock is down to five. Nope. They're going for it. Now it's first and ten after Humphrey the big pass. Throws and incomplete. Broken up by Jamel Dean. Intended there for Demarcus Robinson. So they pass up the three, trying to get the seven. And he stopped behind the line. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on him. A little over a minute in the game. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. 
Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Corum off the left side. He fights forward to about the 23. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. two-yard run by the halfback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Michigan 52, Rutgers 24. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.